Thomism is so much better than Neopalamism, because it's actually true. Now, why do I keep saying Neopalamism? Well, because there's a Neopalamite, traditional Palamite, real distinction. Your own Palamite saints disagree with you. Philotheos Kokinos is an Eastern Orthodox saint living in the 1300s. He was an ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople. He is regarded as a protector of Orthodoxy, along with Photius, Mark of Ephesus, and Palamas. Here's what he has to say about the essence energies distinction. Quote, According to the theologians and the fathers, the divine essence and the divine energy are two things, in the sense that it is proclaimed that they differ from each other, not really, but conceptually, and that these two things are one thing. Their unity, in its turn, being taken and proclaimed as existent, not conceptually, but really. End quote. Whoa! You're telling me Philotheos Kokinos, a protector of orthodoxy, is saying that the essence energy's distinction is not a real distinction, but only conceptual, and their unity is a real unity. Wait a second. Philotheos Kokinos was the theologian of official palamism. He's the one who threw the anathemas at Barlam. Isn't he the one who wrote the Hagioretic Tome under the supervision and inspiration of Palamas, the one that taught official Palamite teachings? Isn't he the one who canonized Palamas and wrote the book on his life? So you're telling me, Kokinos was a student and friend of Gregory Palamas who helped construct the dogmatic Hagioretic Tome for the Palamite councils, and he is the one who standardized Palamite teaching, yet he didn't believe in the essence energy's real distinction? That's exactly what I'm saying. And as we see, the essence energy's real distinction is an evolution of dogma, not something even held by the protectors of orthodoxy who compose the Palamite council's documents. This is why Photius doesn't even know about the essence energy's real distinction. It's evolution of dogma. St. Leo has a say, quote, But God alone is exempt from any participating, and anything which is in any degree worthily predicated of him is not an attribute, but his very essence. End quote. Wait a second, whatever is predicated of God is not just an attribute of him, but its very essence. But all of these Neopalamites are saying that whatever we predicate of God, we're predicating of his energies. Right? Remember Jay Dyer said that existence is an energy of God. Existence, even, it's itself, is an energy of God. Existence is not the divine essence. Wrong. St. Leo the Great says whatever we're predicating of God, that's about his essence. And so we have proved the Neopalamism, traditional Palamism, real distinction. Now that we have debunked the essence energy's real distinction, this will make it so much easier for us to prove the filioque, as the essence energy's real distinction is a basis for the energetic procession, or eternal manifestation. Now that that's gone, we could also rule out eternal manifestation and energetic procession and make it so much easier for us to prove the eternal hypostatic origination of the Holy Spirit from the Father and the Son. Hey, if you like this video, pray the rosary and subscribe. This was a clip from a video I'm currently editing on the filioque. Hopefully it'll come out soon. Peace and blessings.